टेक्निकल एंट्री सिक्सटी फर्स्ट कोर्स एंड इट वॉज फ्रॉम एस एस बी बैंगलोर This was my ninth attempt, and I have been uh, screened out five times. This was my fourth conference. Yeah. Please tell us about your uh, journey. Uh, about uh, means you have experienced screen out as well as conference out. Yes. Uh, so please tell us what uh, changes did you make uh, for this particular attempt? Okay. So, ma'am, uh, like I have been attending SSB since twenty sixteen when I was in uh, when I passed twelve or twelve standard. so uh, like the first two attempts were screen out those were direct entries 10 plus 2 btech and then uh, the was the ts entry so in both the attempts i got uh, screened out candidates were in heavy number and maybe i was not able to perform up to the expectation so uh, those two were uh, the screen out so the initial two and thereafter it were all, uh, the, all the attempts seven attempts were after my graduation so after my graduation i attempted for three ssbs and all three were conference out so the last conference which i was able to attempt before this ssb was in september 2021 it was for navy entry in ssb kolkata and thereafter september 2021 to this date uh, this was the conference which i attempted because in 2022 i attempted three ssbs and all three were screen outs so um, i can say like after 1.5 years i got an opportunity to attend conference so and uh, the changes that i took uh, the changes which i made i think it was from december onwards uh actually uh the it's there are a lot of things which i did uh, my exams were not uh, i was not able to clear exams uh, my serious attempts were exhausted uh, my afcat attempts i had six attempts four were exhausted and i was not able to make it it was marginally i was i was not able to clear sometimes by three marks sometimes by four marks so there were a lot of things first the decision that i took uh, was to clear these exams so i started preparing for them i cleared the first afcat uh, which was in 2022 afcat 2 2022 uh, with was 166 uh, which was marginally i passed thereafter i kept on preparing so this afcat uh, i cleared with 189 which uh, performance improved in this case with that i was working on my physical fitness and working on knowledge i started uh, with a proper schedule and uh, inculcated few things which necessarily i was doing every day which included participation in nfa activities or fitness ho gaya ya reading newspapers and uh, reading something of general knowledge or awareness so these were like main parts which i was doing regularly on a consistent basis and then uh, this was the attempt which i came and then i appeared and i was able to make it so this was the transformation and this was about the ssb attempts can you hear my voice uh, ma'am your screen is fre- freezed i can hear your voice but uh, uh, your image is freezed no problems we have a backup plan yes sir you are clearly audible and visible <laughs> so ye bataiye bhai ye difference to aapne preparation mein bata di ssb mein ya aap enroll kab kiya tha hamare paas mein this is may 2023 i enrolled one year back exactly it was 11th may 2021 okay Hmm. so since uh, and before had you taken any coaching earlier yes 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 it was in 2016 when i took when i passed my 12th standard yeah so i took so uh, now that you came to no fills academy hmm. there would have been some major issues that you would have unlearned hmm. and then there would have been some habits which you would have inculcated Hmm. so just explain those for the benefit of our students okay so when i enrolled for uh, your guidance sir like uh, um before that i was i was not working consistently okay uh, this was the story which i narrated in the interview also well so i was not working consistently on a, my physical fitness was not that good though i was normal but not good general awareness and current affairs knowledge was not good so after your interaction this is what you even told me that work on these areas your general awareness your knowledge about core subjects your physical fitness follow a proper schedule live a organized life so these were the major aspects which you told me to work upon and i started working but even after your guidance it is not that after may 2022 also i was working consistently there were inconsistencies and that's why i can say it took a year time 
uh, but from december onwards i can say that i have been consistent the consistency was impeccable from december onwards uh, so yeah these were the things that you told me and uh, i worked upon them and when i enrolled itself i had a i had taken i had accepted these mistakes so in the in interaction itself you told me that yeah i can see you that you are willing to change and you have accepted those mistakes so that was the feedback which i received from you after the interaction and what were the things that you unlearned unlearned i i did not practice anything about this psychological test did not practice anything about the gto i mean the gds and all we were practicing in nfa but not to with the structures and all no nothing done i did not practice interview questions i used to call you and uh, i think I, it was one month back i called you around 14th or 17th of april and asked some question and you said if you will <laughs> worry about these impressions and all you wrote it down that tera nahi hoga to abhi se likh le so i did not bothered about all these things and uh, if i will tell you the my interview experience you will realize that how much seriously i took your uh, these advices that please how tell, it please tell okay so now interview experience sir uh, my interview experience it interview happened on the second day okay so my interview happened on second day after the psychological test so i was chest number 24 and 21 to 27 all interviews happened on that day so my interview was taken i don't know maybe deputy president i think so my interview experience was like very unconventional sir i think and i would like to hear from nehru sir about this because aisa hua nahi pehle on all the conferences it was very unconventional because of the reasons i will tell you later so what happened i appeared for the interview and uh, in the initial interaction itself after 5 10 minutes into the interaction the interviewer asked me that you have you taken coaching so i told him yeah i have taken i told uh, about nfa so nfa did came into picture 5 10 minutes into the conversation so he did ask me who is your mentor uh, what he does uh, so i told him he was in bangalore in deputy president also he asked me when was he there so i think i told uh, maybe sir 2010 12 i do not remember exactly then he asked me what questions do you ask him so i told him all these things so he he asked about the model that how do you function so i he asked me when did you enroll so i told him uh, last year so he was not quite sure ki ye kaise kaam kar rahe hain this coaching is going for one year or so so i told him no sir we we do not function like that it is just that we work this way we can ask doubts and queries you know so he said okay and then um, there were a lot of questions asked on interview i do not remember all of them but there were some major points which i remember so i it was unconventional because there was no cqs asked to me ek cq unhone beech mein pucha tha ki okay uh, what did you do after 12th what did you do later on college mein kaise admission liya what were the difficulties you faced so this was there were four questions in that cq and this is all he asked and wo bhi maine completely answer nahi kiya i answered till college and then he moved on to usi mein unhone he started asking question kuch usse kuch usse and he went into that conversation and wo cq bhi baad mein complete nahi kiya he did not let me completely okay now you can complete so there was this was the only cq and that also i did not complete it and thereafter there was no cq no cq it was just like the normal conversation i just entered the room he asked me to get seated he just saw the pic okay you are coming from bangalore where are you staying in bangalore what are you doing which company you are working and just the interview started there was no ice breaking ki okay relax and all where are you doing what is your company doing and the interview started uh, then any hair questions what is your father doing okay he is retired from me okay which regiment he resigned okay what what was the last posting i told him nccs or madhapur what is the full form of nccs so i told that okay it's where it is limits but dhan code it It's 20 km far from there. It is in Madhupur. So he told me, okay, uh, but where is the Northern Command of Army? So I told him that. So any random questions were posed. There was no not a structured thing going on. So this is how it was posed. Now the major aspect which came was uh, he asked me, okay, which all exams you appeared? Uh, did you clear your NDA? So I said, uh, no, sir, I did not clear. And uh, what about CDS? I did not clear. So he told me, okay. So then he said, "Ki you coming from an army background, you have from first to twelfth standard, you have studied in army school, you have got so much exposure about army, and still you are not able to clear NDA." So I told him the reason that, yes, sir, I was not able to clear because of this reason. Final, wo twelfth me, I was, uh, uh, I was preparing for college also, and this also. So he said, "Don't give me reasons at all. You get so many attempts for NDA, uh, from sixteen and a half years to nineteen and a half years, you can appear for NDA. Why did you not clear it?" and then you not cleared cds also so i told him sir i won't deny that i didn't worked hard but yeah i didn't worked hard and then he said why not cds why not afcat and that was at that moment just i told him the entire story what has happened because he was regularly posing ki kya hua and then i narrated the entire story 
सर एंड आई वॉज मैंने वो द बुक जो सर ने नेहरू सर ने लिखा है बी फ्रैंक एंड लाइक कंसिडर हिम अ फ्रेंड ओके डोंट शाई अवे फ्रॉम एक्सेप्टिंग तो आई टूक इट वेरी सीरियसली आउट से मैंने आई जस्ट एक्सेप्ट इट किस सर आई वॉज टूपेड आई डेंट वॉक दट एंड दिस इज एक्जैक्टली हाउस i was stupid i didn't work hard what happened uh, in india i did not work hard and then I, and i came to college so this is how i was doing because in engineering we were studying a few days before the engineering exams or waise karke we were passing the exams so and this is how i managed to uh, do the engineering or i did not face any difficulty so what happened after engineering that became a hobby that became a habit because i lost that consistent hard work we were chasing aim ya fir consistently mehnat karo that was not doing because i was managed to clear these exams by uh, studying at the final moment so when i came out of college to so this habit continued to so wohi cds ke mere nahi ho rahe the clear because cds attempts aate the i used to work on a inconsistent basis but the backup was there ki agar nahi bhi clear hua to i have direct entry i will be able to make it there SSB to SSB है direct entry से हो जाएगा so I was not that serious and not working consistently तो ऐसे करके serious clear नहीं हुआ and coming to after the same habit continued but I was working that is the reason मेरे तीन कभी कुछ number से रह रहा है कभी कुछ number से रह रहा है I was close but I was not able to clear and all the SSBs that I attempt तो every time this question was posed to me कि यार if you are not able to clear serious तो after तो होना चाहिए that is difficult that is not that difficult so I felt really ashamed of myself कि यार ये तो होना चाहिए and that then I realized कि I have to work upon it I think it was at this moment when he stopped in between. I do not remember exactly. So, he heard it all and then said, "Ki you will come to army and still you will remain like same. You have not been working hard and this is how you are. So, if you come to army also, you will remain like this only." And it was that moment I said, "No, sir, that is not right." When I realized that when I was not doing clear SSB, I was asking for clear SSB. So, I felt ashamed of myself and I realized that I had to do it. So, I enrolled for an online coaching. Then, from there, I had prepared for AFCAT. First AFCAT was cleared by 166. The next AFCAT was cleared by 189. And now I do not have any attempts left for AFCAT. Otherwise, I am sure I will clear by 220 plus. And I cannot show you by words that I am changing, but I am. So he looked at me and for two three seconds, but I, I was like, "Yeah, this was true." So he said, "Okay." he was convinced that i have worked and i was changing and he did not ask anything further on that so that was one thing and i have written okay so this was one thing he asked me then uh, actually i have written uh, the important points of as we just please okay. go ahead that will be logical yeah so this so was the first thing that he asked about the examination and all this is what i remember and uh, one thing which happened uh, where actually he got angry i would say उन्होंने मुझसे पूछा था ही फ्रेम द क्वेश्चन इन अ वे दैट व्हाई डू यू थिंक यू शुड बी सिलेक्टेड या व्हाई डू यू थिंक यू कैन जॉइन आर्मी तो ऐसे करके एक क्वेश्चन फ्रेम था वो एंड आई टोल्ड हिम दैट्स आर बिकॉज़ आई हैव हाई मॉरल करेज सो ही जस्ट हर्ड टू इट एंड ही गॉट वेरी एंग्री एट इट एंड ही वाज सीरियसली एंग्री ही वाज जेन्युइनली एंग्री इट वाज विजिबल and because maybe because he thought because now what i feel maybe because he thought that i am showing a, uh, i am speaking a cooped up answer maybe because ye thoda psychological term hai moral courage and also he said your mentor has told you to answer all this here so i had complete conviction in what i said so i looked back into his i said no sir then he stared back to me for 2 3 2 3 seconds and he said like but i maintained the uh, composure that i was i was i had complete conviction in what i was saying because it was true so he looked back straight back and said okay now you told me where you have some moral courage he was genuinely angry and then uh, uh, then okay then i started answering ki oh yeah there have been many places where i have done this and uh, uh, so i was answering some out on these lines and then he stopped me in between i said no no you first complete the answer that uh, why do you think you can uh, join army or fir why can you uh, why we should select you karke so i completed that answer first uh, which the second point was related to leadership and uh, the aspect third point was related to uh, because i am a selfless person i am an a group active uh, group uh, group member so aise karke i completed the answer and then he came on to the point okay now now you tell me where you have some moral courage so then um, meanwhile he was writing on something so i said yes sir i have uh, there are many places but one i remember was i was in village and uh, there was some water issue or something which was going on so i will not narrate the entire incident here but uh, i narrated that in the uh, ssb interview so i told him the entire incident which occurred in my village and i along with my uncle i got them and uh, we went to the panchayat we talked to the sachiv and sarpanch there and we got it resolved in a 2 3 days or something तो आई टोल्ड हिम द इंटायर इंसिडेंट जो हम एस आर टीज में लिखते हैं ना आईल पीपल इन माई रियल लाइफ ऑल्सो सो दिस इज वॉट आई टोल्ड हिम सो ही लिसन टू दायर स्टोरी एंड देन सेड वेन डिड यू डू इट सो आई सेड इट वॉज टू ईयर्स बैक तो ही लुक पी आई कैन सेड यू ट्वेंटी थ्री वेन यू डिड इट सो आई सेड यस सर देन ही लुक यू आर इन योर फाइनल ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग वेन यू डिड इट आई सेड यस सर 
and then you say then he said like you think they would uh, take any action on a 23 year old boy if you will come and say something and you think they will take any action and you will be able to do anything on it so it was a very spontaneous reaction i do not it just came out of my mind and i was like how does it matter sir if i believe there is something wrong i have to speak for it and it is not that they did not took any action they did took action within a matter of 2 to 3 years it was resolved i i just told them whatever action they took but i think it was just the initial reaction which he noted and he just kept on writing something i do not know what but he just the initial reaction that how does it matter sir and that's all he heard and then he kept on writing and then after that he uh, he stopped uh, when i completed the answer he said this is this is your perception of who you are uh, this is what you believe you are uh, this is does anyone else also believe the same about you i said yes all my friends believe the same people who know me believe the same so okay and then after he did not ask me anything on that and uh, then the questions were related to why do you want to join army and all so why do you want to join army so i told him again there was a long story because i have been attending ssb since 2016 so koi ek reason nahi hai i have changed a lot it's been 8 9 years to jo motivation hai wo also with a, with a period of time has been changing so i told him my initial motivation was when i saw my seniors in school ki wahan pe there were seniors ki uh, final year mein they aate hain and uh, they appear for nda examination aur wahan pe wo clear karte hain by the time of june july they get their joining और ये स्कूल के बाद ही दे गेट इनटू एनडीए एंड चार साल की ट्रेनिंग के बाद एट द एज ऑफ 21 22 दे बिकम कमीशनड ऑफिसर्स तो इट इज वेरी रिस्पेक्टफुल जॉब और देयर वाज अदर साइड वेयर पीपल वर डूइंग डिग्रीज बीबीए एमबीए बीटेक वीटेक एंड ऑल सो मेरे को ये ये बात ज्यादा अच्छा लगा कि यार दीस पीपल वर एंजॉयिंग आल्सो एंड मेजर एनडीए पार्ट दे वर वर लाइक पीपल इन वर्ल्ड इन एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज आल्सो एंजॉयिंग आल्सो इन स्पोर्ट्स आल्सो तो आई फाउंड दैट दिस इज मोर अट्रैक्टिव and obviously i was from army background to ek wo bhi tha so i told him this was the reason and then when i came to final year of engineering uh, nahi this uh, first year of engineering i read a book of rashna bistravat the brave to wo mujhe bada encourage kiya ki this the stories of pvc stories and all i read so i felt very encouraged here so he listened to all and then he said okay rahindra i am not convinced by all these uh, stories and all the rashna bistravat stories on all you have read uh, this is not the reason you tell me uh, uh, a right reason So I told sir, yeah, these are the right reasons only. But apart from that, obviously there are other reasons. The other reason is like I'm a, a bit a sort of emotional person, so I do feel for my father. Uh, he has served 26 years in army as an NCO, and I know for a fact that if I join the forces and officers, so for him it will be a great thing. So it is a great motivator for me. The other aspect is I'm the only person from my village who who has never been to SSB or would have cleared. So if I manage to get it done, it will be a great motivator like for the people around, and it I, I can be an inspiration. So it also motivates me. so no yes no and okay that's it he did not ask me anything about that fir unhone jab technical sub- subjects pe questions puche to uh, i have narrated him the entire story about engineering but still he asked me ki uh, about some engineering subject he now tell me what all subjects you have studied in engineering maine do char bataye and then he said uh, okay which subject you tell me one subject on which you have good knowledge um, i will ask you on that so i said sir i do not remember any of them uh, like uh, particularly now and this aspect i had already discussed with nehru sir ki abu engineering subject wala it's already been two years so i should not go back and revisit them because it's a matter of past now i cannot change them so i had not prepared anything on these subjects now so when this question was posed i knew ki main nahi bol paunga isme so i just told ki sir i do not know any of the subjects so uh, but still said no one technical subject you have studied so many technical subject tell me one technical subject you have uh, that you know to so, maine bola sir like uh, 12th physics i can answer so <laughs> he said ki these subjects that you have studied in engineering this opto electronics vlsi stld tell me one subject that you have studied so i told him sir i have told you sir I, and that's how i did engineering i do not remember anything now so he said um, still he asked me something to satellite communication or something I, i answered whatever i knew and he said okay and then he again he asked something um, related to communication so i said i do not remember now so he said you don't remember i said no sir so he said you don't know this also you will join army you will still not know anything you will still not know anything uh, how will you do and all so i said so that okay i don't know that was right but i will not be able to that was false so i said sir that is right that i do not know but it is not that i will not be able to do it these questions are not something very difficult i will take an hour of time i will go back and i will just research the complete details and i will get to the answer in complete depth and detail in one hour so he said wo to koi bhi kar sakta hai i can also search on google and get to the detail in 5 minutes i had no answer to it i just remained silent so that was one of the technical aspect uske alawa kuch technical aspect unhone nahi pucha and because he was he, maybe he realized ki i did not know anything about it so he did not ask me anything on that 
since then uh, he turned the piq i think by this this by then my interview had already lasted for 30 minutes or so and interviews were generally very short there so uske baad unhone he turned the piq and jo piq mein jo ncc hota hai jo hobbies and interest wahan pe wo unhone pucha ncc mein ki okay what you have done in ncc uh, he did not ask me he just asked me okay where you have done ncc i told him ncc air wing and all then he asked me okay uh, what is the extraordinary achievement in ncc so i thought for one or two second and said uh, sir i do not have any extraordinary achievement in ncc so he said you do not have any achievement in ncc extraordinary achievement so we yes, said i know sir so he said ki okay you have done ncc also just like that huh? you uh, just got the c certificate uh, just for the direct entries you have completed and you are appearing so i said no sir that was one of the motivation direct entries was one of the motivation to do ncc but that was not the only motivation in my past eight attempts of ncc there is not a uh, attempts of ssb there is not even a single attempt of ncc special entry i am already 25 i have lost all the attempts of ncc and i have not even attended single so that was that is not that i did ncc just for that but obviously that was one of the motivation so he didn't ask anything that was the only question on ncc and then on the sports he asked me what all sports you played to usme maine was cricket and football hi likha tha and then he asked me kaise kya to i told him sir wo that uh, we used to play in the school time and we used to play in the evening time so it was not um, that i have played at a uh, at a district level or zonal level or something i represented my college it is just inter house tournaments i have played that's all he didn't ask me anything on that then hobbies and interests there was no question no question on hobbies and interests the extra curricular activities he just i had written a lot about all the events on college and all so he just what all you have written in this he looked at pi what all you have written all this Uh, so i told you, these are all my events of uh, school colleges that i have participated in all so he said okay uh, so sabse pehle karate likha tha usme so so karate so when you have done it so i did sir it was in 2007 2009 when i was seventh standard and so he said hey, that's long back you did it i said yes sir and what is so extraordinary in it so i said sir i was black belt in it so kada what is so great in doing black belt so i told him sir it is not easy we have to pass so many tests and i have been i have was consistent in it for two year and this is this all then he asked me kaun sa academy tha and all i told him and then he said if you are so good in karate then why did you do not continue to do it so i told him ki wo maine mane sir mein kiya tha then i shifted to delhi and i was in seventh standard studies was a priority nor i was highly motivated to do make my career in karate so i did not continue after getting black belt i did not continue so he said that's it and then uske niche sare debates the uh, in my extra curricular activities so i think it was at this moment that he asked me i do not remember exactly but i think wo debates the so what all you have done so i said these are debate competitions in which i have represented my college and all so kada how do you think you will be able to do anything of that in army or you think you will do debates in army so i i laughed i said no sir not just debates but uh, yeah i will do it so he said he again asked me you will do debates in army so i then uh, so I, i thought debate competitions honge army mein so i said yeah sir it is good sir i will do it so he didn't ask me anything on that then he turned back the biq and he said uh, father and family pe he just asked me ki okay your father has retired from army ravindra and now he's working in indian railways where he's working so i told him this this place at this post and he said okay ravind don't you think your father is uh, retired from army and still is working so uh, don't you think you should uh, don't you feel bad about it so i told him yes yeah, sir i do feel about it and uh, um, uh, it is just that uh, i have told him also that you do not need to work whatever that you are earning i will pay you that much amount of money but he my father being a forger he cannot sit idle at home he wants to work so yeah he works i cannot stop him that's it on family this was the only question asked and uh, this is all so to piq mein jo piche hota hai the conventional sort of questions there was no nothing just turn the piq ncc pe that was the only question sports pe that was the only question hobbies and interests pe there was no question extra curricular activities pe the only two questions were on karate and this debate you will do debates in army that was the only question and that's it i mean that's all from piq otherwise all were hay wire questions why do you want to join army so us pe maine bola sir us pe the reason i have told you and then uh, which regiment would you like to join so i told him and it's i have you not decided so he asked me why have you not decided yet i told him sir because i believe that once i will join academy i think i will get to know more about arms and services better when i will join academy and then i think i will be in a more better position to decide at which suits me the best and then i will take that decision so, but as of now i feel i might join signals or army aviation because uh, signals because my father was in signals and army aviation because i have fascination that it will be great to uh, uh, to fly a helicopter so he asked me names of helicopters you know i answered 6 7 he said that's all you know i said yeah that's all i know then he asked me about artillery guns so i told him three four artillery guns ek do main bhul gaya tha tab bolna to ek to wo candidates mein iske bahar hi thi pounder gun so i told him that also he said which gun i said pounder gun sir that's in the candidates mess outside so okay that's all 
and that was also other like other all were like hey why questions beach beach mein kuch bhi the like so basically it was all around the around me and what i have done and uh, baki all were basic questions so this is how it ended and in the end he just asked me uh, what will you do after going from here i told him whatever i'll be doing next day gto hai to what i will be preparing and all he just asked me okay uh, what is your body body identification mark i told him and then he said any questions for me i said no and he said okay you can leave so that is all uh, that was all in the interview sir i mean this is all this is all i remember so there were no ciqs nothing on that piq mein aisa kuch nahi tha jaisa tha this is how it was sir you may be asking uh, more yeah. Uh, yeah. i'll 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 just uh, I, w- i wanted to summarize about psychology and gto the remaining part okay psychology happened on the second day to so psychology mein um, uh, i had not prepared anything uh, Uh, special as of snow as uh, the whatever we were doing in nfa activities to tat to wahan se practice ho hi gaya tha uske alawa for vat i had not done any preparation wo jaane se pehle maine aadha ghanta kuch words likhe the 60 50 just to see ki wo words instantly ban rahe hain ki nahi ban rahe to ban rahe the mostly jo nahi ban rahe the i just revisited those words and tried to see ki isme kya nahi ban raha ya fir what better idea i can implement and that is all for vat and i did not wrote even a single srt or something no practice done for them kuch jo doubts rehte the i used to call sir and ki sir is srt mein what should i do whether is right or not wo pooch leta tha and sir usme bhi daat dete the to fir maine wo bhi nahi kiya so i just went directly and in psychology um, i was able to complete all the tat stories on time wo, mostly it was 15 seconds or 30 seconds pure i was able to write the ideas were clear and i knew ki kya karna hai because uh, jo uh, nfa ki activities mein jo hum feedback dete hain after the writing these stories and all so i used to get this feedback kaiser was there so he used to give this every time to me that you your stories are very elaborate in narration also your timing is more because you are very elaborate so i had this thing in my head ki mere ko stories choti likhni hai i have to worry about the timing ideas to aa jayenge but i have to make sure ki wo complete concise or precise ho तो आई मेड श्योर डैट और स्टोरीज टाइम पे कंप्लीट कर दी मैंने और वो सारी हो गई नो डिफिकल्टी ब्लैंक स्टोरी आई हैड वेरीफाइड फ्रॉम सर सो वो भी हो गया सो टैट वेंट फाइन देन वैट आई वाज एबल टू अटेम्प्ट ऑल 60 नो इश्यूज इन दैट ऑल सिंपल वर्ड्स वर देयर सो नो डिफिकल्टी फेस्ड सो दैट वाज अबाउट वैट एंड देन 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 दे आर वी वर गिवन अ ब्रेक ऑफ सम मिनट देन एसआरटीज वर देयर सो एसआरटीज आई वाज एबल टू अटेम्प्ट अ 55 Uh, and was very short time was given actually matlab jo bhi time tha because majority were restricted to 45 to 50 srts even the candidates who later on got recommended with me and we were discussing in medicals to kuch ne 36 ki thi kuch ne 40 kari thi so i was the only one who had attempted 55 srts so srts ka number also i was satisfied with the number of srts i was able to do and then sdt also had verified so that was not an issue so uh, psychological test i was pretty much satisfied with how it went and um, uh, so yeah that was about psychological test now Uh, you are uh, something regarding your uh, gto aspects okay uh, how how were the day three day four okay so in gto ma'am um, we were 27 candidates who were screened in so we had nine members in our group and uh, in my group there were three previously recommended candidates my chest number was 24 25 26 27 all three recommended candidates were there and uh, uh, the first two activities were gds in that तो जीडीज का आई हैड प्रिपेयर्ड वेल बिकॉज मतलब माय एंटायर एस पी प्रिपरेशन वाज जस्ट सराउंडेड अराउंड रीडिंग आई मीन आई हैव बीन रीडिंग न्यूज़पेपर्स रीडिंग अबाउट टॉपिक्स व्हिच वर देयर इन न्यूज़ या जो मुझे लगा विल बी रेलेवेंट फ्रॉम द नॉलेज पर्सपेक्टिव सो दिस इज व्हाट आई हैड डन तो आई हैड कंप्लीट कॉन्फिडेंस इन द नॉलेज एस्पेक्ट तो मुझे इतना पता था कुछ भी हो जीडी में या फिर जीटीओ में क्या होगा नहीं होगा एसएसबी में क्या होगा नहीं होगा बट दीज एस्पेक्ट्स वेयर आई एम सपोज टू स्पीक ऑन नॉलेज वहां पे आई विल देयर विल बी नो वन अराउंड आई मीन वहां पे मैं बहुत अच्छा करूंगा दिस वाज द कॉन्फिडेंस आई हैड इट एंड इन फैक्ट इवन इन द इंटरव्यू आई फॉरगॉट टू मेंशन व्हेन ही आस्क्ड मी टू टेल मी वन अबाउट इंटरनेशनल टॉपिक और नेशनल टॉपिक ऑन व्हिच यू हैव गुड नॉलेज सो आई टोल्ड हिम सर आई हैव आई नो प्रीटी मच अबाउट ऑल द टॉपिक्स यू कैन आस्क मी एनीथिंग सो आई वाज दैट कॉन्फिडेंट इन द इंटरव्यू आल्सो again he asked me you know do you tell me one topic so i told him sir i know pretty much about all the topics you can ask me anything to so interview maybe i was so confident about this knowledge aspect to so gds mein the topics were first topic was on terrorism or this uh, wars which have happened in the last 70 years or 100 years to so what are the reasons the leads were territorial expansion or uh, political hegemony or maybe the exploitation of mineral resources and now the group was very complete this group was uh, it was beyond expectation uh, it was fish market raised to power 10 nobody was allowing anybody to speak 
and it was complete chaos it was complete chaos it did not happen it just happened barely for few seconds where one was speaking and others was listening there was nobody who was willing to listen so it was a complete chaotic situation in that also i managed to spoke for two three times and i was satisfied with speaking two three mind two three times at least because because the country was complete chaotic the second lead was again on uh, but the knowledge part was good the points were good and i was satisfied with the points which i was able to deliver and thoda bodhi sahi jinhone bhi suna they were like It, the points were good so i was happy with it uh, the second uh, topic also same thing happened complete chaotic just two three points spoken and uh, it was uh, the topic was uh, that if you want to transform our cities so what do you think is the single most aspect that has to be worked upon whether it is corruption whether it is uh, this sanitation or whether it is traffic congestion to wahan pe bhi i was able to give logical points based on facts and all so wo bhi ho gaya then came the gp and gp was like complete chaotic more chaotic than the gds because gp me as far as i understand kyunki usme special knowledge nahi chahiye it just require opinions and everybody has their opinion so people who do not have knowledge also they can speak a lot so it was complete chaotic 20 25 minutes the gp lasted and it did not happen that one guy was speaking and others were listening it did not happen at a time at least 3 to 4 people were speaking this was the condition for complete 20 to 25 minutes and uh, in that situation also because to kuch hua hi nahi gd to gd to hua hi nahi na in in such a situation so there was no gd happened there was no gd at all so uh, fir whatever we were listening and speaking and people were just shouting uh, whatever logical i believe could be done in that situation i did ki okay gentlemen this point is already discussed we should not waste on time this okay gentlemen we can listen to his point his point is good okay gentlemen in my opinion i can do this so this is what i kept on doing but that also uh, people were not listening much some were listening some agreed some did not agreed so this is how the entire gd went and then the gto said okay just 5 minutes are left so then i became i took action accordingly ki, okay gentlemen we don't have much time we cannot waste time okay let's go on to this part okay and this is how i tried to make them reach to a consensus but because it was chaotic nothing could be done so whatever i could do mera gala baith gaya tha after gp this was the situation there so whatever i could do i just did it then after this a guy was nominated 20 september 27 because he was very loud or maybe he was the only guy who was able to uh, speak over shadow all the uh, shouting voices he was nominated and he narrated his group plan and that is what he was supposed to do because ji jab hua hi nahi discussion so <laughs> this is what he will, he will do so he did that and after the gp i was uh, a bit sad here uh, like i like nothing good happened because nfa activities mein when we were doing it so i was like more or less uh, recommended uh, like this and uh, nominated for narration to aisa kuch nahi hua i had expectation ki aisa kuch main yahan pe bhi karunga but aisa kuch bhi nahi hua to i felt ki shayad maine utna acha perform nahi kiya but i did not bothered much because jo bhi main kar sakta tha us situation mein i did it then started with the pgts to pgt ke andar pgt 1 and 2 there were no difficulties ideas usme ideas easily aa jate hain so uh, nothing special did everyone was equally more or less performed well in it simply fatta rakha kahin pe kuch kiya and we were able to do it so whatever we uh, in generally do okay gentlemen take care make sure it is stable okay gentlemen come forward do this this so everybody was doing that there was no difficulty so yeah uh, everybody did well i would say then came pgt 3 pgt 3 was was a situation which is worth uh, uh, telling so pgt 3 may there was some structure like this triangular and standing on this uh, standing uh, there were poles and it was just few feet away from um, a different uh, starting line तो हम उस पर वैसे नहीं इट वॉज बिट फार आई थिंक या सो वी यूज द प्लान टू गेट ओवर इट एंड वहाँ पे देर वर थ्री पीपल हु गॉट अहेड ऑफ मी एंड आई गॉट लेफ्ट बिहाइंड दे वर हाईली इंथ्यूजियास्टिक दे गॉट अहेड एंड इट वॉज अ ईजी स्ट्रक्चर इट वॉज नॉट अ डिफिकल्ट स्ट्रक्चर इट वॉज अ ईजी स्ट्रक्चर एंड यू कुड हैवीन ईजिली डन बट बिकॉज द ग्रुप वॉज वेरी क्योटिक द सेम वॉज डिस्प्लेड इन पी जी डी ऑल्सो तो वहाँ पे वो सब एवरी बडी वॉज शाउटिंग and everybody was giving opinions and these guy three guys who got behind uh, who got ahead and uh, one of them was a good candidate because i went as a subordinate later on so i realized he has good idea he was with me in agt also so he was a good candidate but because everybody was shouting to wahan pe we wasted 15 to 20 minutes on that such itself matlab pgd ka first wahi hai aur wahan pe hi 20 minute lag gaye group ko it was that chaotic एंड वहां पे उन्होंने कम से कम दस बार रस्सी बांधी इधर लगाया नहीं हुआ एवरीबडी वॉज शॉटिंग दिस इज नॉट स्टेबल दिस इज नॉट स्टेबल इन वॉट हैपन दिस गाय गॉट इन प्रेशर दे वर नॉट डेट असर्टिव गेट विल वर्क नॉट थोड़ा सा भी हिल गया एंड दे लॉज द फेथ तो वट एवर दे वर शॉटिंग दे ट्राई टू डू एज पर देयर द ओपिनियंस दे वर गेटिंग फ्रॉम बिहाइंड जो स्टार्ट लाइन पे द ग्रुप वॉज स्टैंडिंग 
and so they were like sort of confused to unke ideas when they were doing they were workable i was standing on start line and i was saying that is workable please do it but because there was so much chaos you know no this is not working do like this put this put this plank over there this is not stable this will not be do this so it was so chaotic ki वो दे लॉस दे फेथ इन देमसेल्फ कि यार ये सही भी है कि नहीं है तो वो जो थोड़ा सा भी अगर प्लैंक जमीन पे लग गया जेड मैन डू डोंट डू दिस द रूल इज ब्रेकिंग तो दैट आइडिया वाज वर्केबल बट दैट गाय बीइंग लेस असर्टिव ही लॉस्ट फेथ कि यार ये नहीं काम कर रहा एंड इन दैट 15 टू 20 मिनट्स वर वेस्टेड आई मेरा गला पूरा बैठ गया तब तक बोलते बोलते एंड देन जीटीओ फाइनली सेड इफ सम ऑफ यू बिलीव दैट यू हैव बेटर आइडियाज यू कैन कम फॉरवर्ड so me went and just number 21 mandal who got recommended with me we we both went forward and uh, wo structure bada aasan tha usme kuch karna hi nahi tha so i just tied the wo plank rakha aur upar do rope di hui thi dono rope tie karni thi so when i went there the group was behaving the same wo sab chilla rahe the gentleman do like this do like this wo plank ko wahan pe rakho fatte ko yahan rakho mandal was saying something he was saying that i just told mandal he was junior to me so i told him you just do what i'm saying you just tie the plank so gto was standing there i just i know it will work and the other guy was there uh, previously recommend i told him you just tie the rope it will work and i just helped them to tie and the group was shouting i just ignored what they were saying and they were saying it will not work the height is more height is more i just tied it and i just used that structure and jumped onto that structure so it worked so all those guys who were shouting this will not work that will not work they they the voices were shut down because wo kar gaya main to jump bhi kar gaya aage it worked so then also they were saying you know that is workable but we should do like this and i said gentlemen we have already wasted 15 to 20 minutes and this is workable let's move forward we don't have much time we have limited time we have 45 minutes time to solve it and then i told mandal just you come forward he was saying something i just you just come forward and i just got him there and then i said okay bring two three people more and then uh, they came forward or yahan pe standing on this structure i got a clear cut idea ki kya karna hai so we were able to move two three people more uh, uh, ahead i went forward and that's how uh, that 15 to 20 minute deadlock which was formed jahan pe kuch ho hi nahi raha tha despite being a easy structure that was broken so that was broken that was the only good part that i did in pjt where i can say that i did well uske baad when we got on aage ke structure mein pjt ka last structure tha wo where we wasted 4 5 minutes i was there but mere ko bhi idea aaya nahi uske andar to 4 5 minutes we wasted doing something something and then uh, gto said okay gentlemen that's all um, you did well the time is over keep the structures on the start line and you can go and that's how pjt went it that is all for pjt so and then came the agt part so group was like four people were in agt so agt was pretty much easy and people were not people in these three people were very calm cool and to kuch zyada problem nahi aayi uske andar we were able to do it kuch zyada maine bhi kuch zyada kuch kiya nahi simple idea i just helped them okay gentlemen come forward do this uh, pass on this pass on this and that's all and we were able to solve it nothing done it was 4 to 5 minutes i think it might be less than that so nothing special in agt it was done then came the lecture rate part so lecture rate ke andar uh, it was uh, the topics were given so uh, i chose a topic tourism and because i had studied well so i was pretty confident about it and i spoke complete facts and figures kya hai kya nahi hai internationally uh, hum kitna tourist ko receive karte hain hamara national level pe kya hota hai budget ka allocation kya hai infrastructure development mein kya hai ek, uske economic implications kya hain is uh, is saal budget ke andar humne kitna imply kiya hai and uh, foreign relations mein kitna help kar sakta hai tourism giving implications of kartarpur corridor and other things ya fir diplomacy mein kitna help kar sakta hai tourism ya fir wo sab to uh, mine was a very comprehensive covering all the things and and whatever i had read i had just tried to spoke in those 3 minutes and i was the only one who spoke for 3 minutes the rest spoke 5 seconds before or 10 seconds prior but i was able to spoke for 3 minutes and i was very satisfied with how it went and unanimously later on the group also believed that you spoke really well so yeah lecture it was very good that was the end of day 1 and um, the next day we were started with individual obstacle so individual obstacle there was no difficulty i was running and all and doing physical activity to zyada kuch difficulty aayi nahi except wo balancing being wo hua nahi i tried four five times main girta raha us pe i kept on trying wo hua nahi mujhse and uh, i was able to do nine this is what i felt when i did the individual obstacle but later on after one day i was having tea break uh, there and there were candidates who discuss wo double ditch pe aisa ho gaya and then i realized ki maine double ditch miss kar diya so actually i did eight but then i felt ki i had did nine Oh, double ditch was there in the corner there, and I just missed it being in hurry. So I had did eight, and usme wo hua ni balancing bhi. So this was about individual obstacle. Then came the command task. So command task ke under, uh, um, yeah. So uh, I I felt here me ko shayad ek do log ya do three log bhi bulane to bahut hai as a subordinate because generally uh, I do not speak so much in group or in candidates line. I am mostly uh, sort of reserved. 
कुछ लॉजिकल होता है तो मैं करता हूँ नहीं तो ऐसे मैं नहीं करता हूँ तो आई फील यार मे बी आई विल नॉट बी कॉल्ड सो मेनी टाइम्स बट टू माई सरप्राइज इवन आई वो सरप्राइज द ग्रुप वॉज ऑफ नाइन कैंडिडेट्स एंड इफ आई लीव माई सेल्फ असाइड देर वर एट पीपल out of out of those eight people five called me as a subordinate so even i didn't expected that five will call me uh, but yeah i was called as a subordinate five times and wahan pe bhi whatever i could do i just did it i was the last one to be called as a in the command tasks i was the last one and the second last was chest number 21 and we both were recommended from our group i was the last one to be called um, the task which was there was was of a moderate level एंड uh, उसके अंदर आई ट्राई टू डू इट बट वो स्ट्रक्चर थोड़ा सा कॉम्प्लेक्स था एक प्लान था इतना और उस पर रोप थी एंड आई टुक लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू टाई द रोप ऊपर नहीं वो थोड़ा जमीन पे टच कर रहा है तो आई एक्चुअली टुक लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू रीच टू अ कंक्लूजन एंड उसमें जी टी ओ हेल्प भी ऑल्सो कि ओके जेने मैन वट इज द प्रॉब्लम डेट यू फेसिंग इट इज टचिंग सो वट यू थिंक यू कैन डू तो ऐसे करके उन्होंने दो तीन बार मुझे हिंट्स दिए आई वॉज एबल टू डू इट and uh, he also tried to put some prime pressure ki only 1 minute is left or 2 minutes is left so i did not bother much about the time because i knew it ki ab 1 minute mein jitna hoga utna hi hoga ab nahi hoga to nahi hoga i did not get the idea early so i cannot do anything about it so i did not bother much about the timing but usme time bada lag gaya i would do i was able to complete so he said okay gentlemen you completed on time and all but i was not satisfied because generally what happens is ki uh, what i what my notion was ki it should idea should should come quickly and gto if he increases difficulty then it's a positive thing to mere case mein to i got two three hints and i was solved it i was solved it so i was not satisfied much satisfied with the command task but anyhow it went and i said okay anyways i was able to do it do it implement by my idea so that's all about uh, command task and then in fgt there was nothing nothing special in fgt it was just a four minute task basic task we all helped each other similar to sort of hgt we were able to do it and nothing nothing special to worthy to tell uh, we were able to do it and that was the end of gto that's all in gto ma'am okay uh, please tell us something regarding uh, last part uh, conference round okay so conference ma'am uh, आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग की मतलब मेरा जैसा इंटरव्यू गया था तो ही सॉर्ट ऑफ आई फेल्ट मेरे को एक तरफ लग रहा था कि मेरा बहुत ज्यादा अच्छा हुआ है एक तरफ आई वॉज फीलिंग की मेरा बहुत बेकार हुआ है बिकॉज मेरी इंसल्ट काफी हुई थी कि यू हैव नॉट डन एनी थिंग इन एन सी सी यू तो इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट का ही डिट टोल्ड मी वो जब मैंने जब इंजीनियरिंग का कुछ आंसर नहीं किया था ही टोल्ड मी वो चेंट्री यू आर कमिंग फॉर आई सेट शॉर्ट सर्व कमीशन he said it's a technical entry i said yeah technical he said me don't you think you should study and come for technical so that also he told me और उसके बाद एनडीए uh, वगैरह पे उन्होंने बोला था कि यार यू तुरा क्लियर ही नहीं हुआ सो आई आई वाज बड़ी इंसल्ट्स हुई थी सो आई फेल्ट मेरे को लग रहा था यार शायद खराब हुआ है एक तरफ लग रहा था नहीं आई वाज वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट आई वाज वेरी ऑनेस्ट तो होना चाहिए तो आई वो हैड अ मिक्स्ड ओपिनियन कि क्या होगा पता नहीं क्या होगा एंड सिमिलर टू जीटीओ एज आई टोल्ड सम वर वेरी गुड सम वर लाइक सॉर्ट ऑफ डिप तो आई फेल्ट आई हैड दिस नोशन दैट माय कॉन्फिडेंस वुड लास्ट लॉन्ग शायद मैं बॉर्डर लाइन केस होऊंगा तो मेरी कॉन्फिडेंस चलेगी लंबी तो दिस वाज द नोशन आई हैड तो जब वो कॉन्फ्रेंस पे बुलाया तो उन्होंने मेरे को तीन चार मिनट ही बिठाया शायद बाहर या दो तीन मिनट ही होगा वो एंड ही दे कॉल्ड मी इनसाइड एंड कुछ पूछा नहीं उन्होंने हाउ वाज़ द फूड हाउ वाज़ द स्टे विच रेजिमेंट वुड यू लाइक टू ज्वाइन एंड हाउ विल यू रेट योर परफॉर्मेंस एंड ओके जेनेमेंट दैट्स ऑल यू कैन लीव सो आई लेफ्ट एंड वाई लिविंग आफ्टर कमिंग बैक आई वॉज वेरी एंग्री मतलब कि यार कुछ चला नहीं मतलब आई थिंक दे आर नॉट सेलेक्टिंग मी सो आई वॉज सॉर्ट ऑफ एंग्री कि अब मैं नहीं आ रहा यहाँ पे आई विल नॉट कम टू एस एनी मोर हो गया बहुत ये एंड Uh, but, uh, I have didn't have done well. I have been so honest and all. And still, they are not selecting me. I mean, I will not come. But for one side, I thought it might happen. That was why I thought it because the closing address was there. My interviewer came for the closing address, and he sort of just introduced me. That okay, gentlemen, uh, some of you might make, some of you might not make, uh, but it does not matter because uh, we have some requirements. We need some some sort of people. So if you are not able to make, that's fine. Even if I will go for thesis interview, I will not be able to make it. So this is what he told. I was listening, and then he said, "Ki what kind of people we need?" So he talked, "Ki we need people with impeccable integrity. We need people with honesty. We need people with courage who accept their mistakes and move on." So these the points that he said. So so it raised my eyebrows because I thought I am the best in these qualities. If you really need such a person, then I am the best. But then, then, and he was my interviewer. So I felt that he is a highly experienced person. If he needs such people, then he should select me. तो एक वो भी लग रहा था मुझे यार होना तो चाहिए बट बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉन्फ्रेंस शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन ऑफ कॉन्फ्रेंस आई फील शायद नहीं भी हो बट वेन द रिजल्ट फॉर अनाउंस देर वर सिक्स कैंडिडेट्स रिकमेंडेड एंड इन माई ग्रुप देर वर टू कैंडिडेट्स रिकमेंडेड चेस्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी वन मंडल ऑफ होम आई हैव टोल्ड यू एंड चेस्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर विच वॉज मी एंड टू माई सरप्राइज ऑल द थ्री प्रीवियसली रिकमेंडेड कैंडिडेट्स ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन देर नॉट रिकमेंडेड दिस टाइम सो इन माई ग्रुप दो टू वर रिकमेंडेड एंड या 
so that was about confidence and the results thereafter okay. and uh, you already mentioned about elephant group and activities somewhere and yes. interactions with nehru sir overall how nfa helped you it helped me a lot if you will see my entire performance it has been highly inspired by what sir has told me and to an extent i felt maine kuch zyada hi seriously le liya in the interview when he talked ke impression ke bare mein don't bother so i have taken it to next level i did not actually bother it what he is thinking <laughs> and uh, psychological test i did not practice yeah i did ask doubts and vat jane se pehle kuch likhe the but i did not and uh, jab wo hum candidates time mein rehte the to i was sleeping on bed and there were candidates who were discussing ki maine psychology ke itne doses practice kare hain i did this and all so for a moment a self doubt did swept in mujhe laga yaar maine to kuch kiya nahi hai main to ye newspaper hi padhta reh gaya this is all i kept on reading to maine to kuch kiya nahi hai but for a moment i i had i had to remind myself that i had a plan usko maine acche se execute kiya hai and this should work and if it did not work i will go back and relook this plan ki ye kyun nahi kaam kiya but for this moment i it should work aur nahi hua to fir i will again ask silly doubts sir ki yaar kya ho gaya so i had faith in what i had done so i had reminded myself and i just stick to it so wo maine nahi kiya interview se pehle when i was sitting uh, wo at the t point of bangalore wo jahan pe hai to maine mere haath mein book hi thi i read that interview section to wohi main pad raha tha ki how to calm my mind usme sir ne ye likha tha ki yaar consider him a friend Uh, be frank be honest don't try to hide something tell the genuine reason to wo genuine reason ko i took it on next level i told him whatever that was true so yeah it was all inspired by what we did in um, jo tat wagera ka it was all nfa activities that i was participating gds mein i was doing well i have been a consistent uh, participant for past 45 to 50 days um, kaiser was uh, our like the coordinator who was doing so he yeah he knows me very well so i was a consistent participant in all those activities So this is what I mean. Whatever uh, there was, I just followed the guidelines strictly. That's it. Okay. Uh, with that note, I want to ask Nehru sir. Uh, sir, जब हम ये use करते हैं terms कुछ जैसे moral courage, uh, then that back might backfire sometimes. So how how do we deal with the, this when we are asked what how what motivates us to join the defense services? <laughs> मॉरल करेज होना चाहिए बच्चों देखो आप जो थे आपने मेरी सलाह मानी एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट थिंग्स वर्क्ड आउट एंड थिंग इज दैट यू सी व्हाट हैपेंस द इंटरव्यूइंग ऑफिसर थिंक्स लाइक मी ओनली मेरे जैसे ये मैं भी रहा हूं इंटरव्यूइंग ऑफिसर या ही गॉट वेरी एंग्री सर देन ही इज क्यों मेंटर एस कोड टू आंसर ऑल दिस है वो गुस्सा दिखा रहा है वो ठीक है बट देखो सेलेक्ट तो किया है ना Think is that उसने कहा देखो ये बच्चा बिगड़ा हुआ था ये फोकस नहीं था इसने एनडीए का भी रिटर्न नहीं किया इसने जो था इंजीनियरिंग वगैरह में भी कोई पढ़ाई नहीं की दैट इज द पास्ट बट नाउ जनरल नॉलेज ही जब उसने बात की उसने कुछ भी पूछ लो दैट मीन्स ही हैज चेंज नाउ ही इज नो मोर द सेम पर्सन हु अटेंडेड इंजीनियरिंग If with this attitude you had gone for engineering, you would have performed at a very different level. Right. उसने identify किया है ये आपकी बात, ठीक है ना? और सच बोलने के लिए मैं इसलिए बोलता हूँ क्योंकि सच ना भी बोलो, सच पता तो फिर भी चल जाएगा. Interview को अफसर ऐसी थोड़ी बैठा है. ये काम कर रहा है वो. आप देखो यार आपने जिसने भी आपका इंटरव्यू लिया है डिड ही नॉट हैव अ डिसेंट आइडिया अबाउट टेक्निकल स्टफ डिड ही नॉट फॉरगेट अबाउट द साइकोलॉजी पार्ट साइकोलॉजी पार्ट तो सीखा ही है हमने इवन डे टू डे लाइफ चीजें समझदार है भाई लगता नहीं है समझदार था बाद में नहीं बहुत बहुत ज्यादा तब तब तो सिलेक्ट किया ना आपको और सही सेलेक्ट किया आप सिलेक्शन के लायक से तभी सेलेक्ट किया और आप सिलेक्शन के लायक जब बने हो तभी सेलेक्ट हुए हो राइट एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स लिटिल लिटिल थिंग्स इंप्रूवमेंट्स व्हिच यू हैव बीन मेकिंग ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दे हैव एडेड ऑन एंड दे हैव रिफ्लेक्टेड इन योर कॉन्फिडेंस आल्सो और आपने जो मोटिवेशन रखी थी कि गांव में एक कोई इंस्पिरेशन बने तो बन भी गए या और जब हो जाता है काम तो लगता है इतना मुश्किल भी नहीं था या yeah, बिल्कुल सर लगा नहीं कुछ 
मुझे तो लगा मैं इमोशनल हो जाऊंगा कुछ हुआ नहीं है ठीक है हो गया इतना मुश्किल है कि he just have to start developing the right habits and sustain aur aap career mein bhi dekhna ye aaj ki baat nahi hai zindagi jab kabhi baad mein look back karoge 55 60 ki umar mein jaake to ko yaar itna mushkil nahi tha general ban gaya yaar kuch aisa kya teer mara maine bas seedha seedha kaam karta raha apna right that is how it is jab aap tigdam bazi mein usme padte ho tabhi to gadbade shuru hoti hai right and that is when you get respect also theek hai na right sir ye hai you are have started moving in the right direction it is not that difficult hmm. May, I, i will tell you mere se hi na mere se 6 mahine junior wale hmm. wo ek baar puchne lag gaye baat chal gayi unke whatsapp group mein mera zikr aa gaya hmm. and uh, i mean lot of people know each other yaar उन्होंने कहा दे दे के हमारी डिफॉल्ट सेटिंग को चेंज करती रहती है वो साइकोलॉजी टेस्ट जो प्रैक्टिस करके वो तेरी डिफॉल्ट सेटिंग चेंज करने की कोशिश कर रहे थे जो तेरी नहीं हुई एंड यू सी यू हैड द कॉन्फिडेंस ये जब जी टी ओ टास्क चल रहे थे तुम्हारे प्रीवियसली रिकमेंडेड वाले जो थे वो अपना सेल्फ बिलीफ छोड़ खो गए बट यू मेंटेन्ड यू मेंटेन्ड जबकि तू अभी नहीं रिकमेंड तू दो बार दो बार रिजेक्ट हो चुका था राइट बट यू मेंटेन्ड मेंटेन्ड ना यस ये जो मेंटेनेंस थी सेल्फ बिलीफ की ये कहा से आई ये जो तू एक डेढ़ साल से जो एफर्ट कर रहा था ये उसका वो है आउटकम ये कौन सा एक दिन का प्रोडक्ट है राइट राइट इज इट ट्रू नॉट यस कंप्लीटली ट्रू सर राइट दैट इज हाउ लाइफ इज अब मेरे पास तो सवाल रहा नहीं तेरे से कुछ पूछ रहेगा योगिता के सवाल का जवाब हो गया मेरे पास कोई नहीं है बच्चों आप पूछ सकते हो योगिता यू हैव एनीथिंग मोर टू आस्क या प्लीज गो हैड आस्क योर क्वेश्चंस